people are being moved out of, of an area and not allowed to kind of come together as they have for millennia and, and sit in a room and hear something and, and experience it together, then that's a tragic thing in society. It's always been a very vibrant punk community. Venues that all closed really quickly because people hated punk rocks. If you're hungry enough to do something, you're going to make something happen. If you want to start a, a cultural kind of movement here, you can't do it in a legal setting. They have a bylaw for everything here. It's suffocating. Here we are, look, we're putting on a show. These kids are having a good time. Come shut us down again. One of the cops is about where the stick was, and he said, can you back away from me? You're a little too close to my gun. Unless you have a place like the Cobalt. The cobalt. Cobalt, Cobalt. Viva la fucking Cobalt. <laughs> you know, sits like my mother. If we let anybody else in the door, uh, we're going to get shut down. Getting rid of her is basically one of the approach how to stop this disaster. That's gone. It's over. It's all on Granville Street. A lot of people don't want to go to Granville Street to get drunk and listen to a bunch of shitty music. And then you leave that area. There's people making art and music, but they're just not doing it with a permit. I always want to make sure that there's a place for people to perform. And if I have to get sued or take risks, then I will. If I'm in there serving minors, if I'm packing a thousand people in there and pissing off all the neighbors, get rid of me. But if I want to be a legitimate businessman and work within the parameters, then hell, give me a chance, man. There should be 10 of these. So many kids could have just like gone out and did it. It's like counterattacking a boring city. You just got to keep doing it. I know they don't give two shits about it. It's just money to them, but I love this place. No fun city is like on street level and fun cities here underground with all the rats.